Okay, welcome to another free tutorial on intersect masking and setting up a polygroup. Okay, so there might be a case when you want to create a nice clean piece of topology with a polygroup from a, another intersecting part. So what I'm going to do is basically just create a, a sphere 3D. Uh, so I've pulled that out on the canvas by left mouse dragging. So do that tool. I'm going to make that polygroup straight away. And um, I'm going to just clear the canvas because I forgot to go into edit mode. Control N, drag it back out again, left mouse button, edit mode. Okay, so there we go. So what I want first of all is my topology at the moment has got poles in the middle, so I don't really want that. So I'm going to simply go into my um, Z uh, remesher and I'm just going to click same and I'm just going to hit the remesh and that's going to then give me more uniform okay like that something like that okay so i need um quite a lot of resolution to hold the mask that i'm going to put on here on the intersecting piece so i'm going to divide this up a few times i'm just going to go up to about subdivision level four turn that off and turn that back on you can see there we've got this now i'm going to show you a kind of way that i can do it so i'm going to duplicate this out first of all i'm going to come down here i'm going to rename it i'm going to call this um original um subdiv divided okay that's subdivided i'm going to now click that one and i'm going to click here and duplicate it so i'm going to come here and i'm going to call this um uh, sphere no subs so i'm going to show you this method here using the masking tool inside plugins called intersection master now intersection plugin is it called Inter oh yeah intersection masker needs uh, the tool to be in this and it doesn't like subdivision levels so I first of all have to go in and delete the subdivision levels and that's why I created this original one so we can return back to it okay so we've got really high poly there and you can check the quality of that by just using something like the mask and make sure it's nice and tight if it isn't tight enough then you might want to divide it one more time uh, to give you a nice clean mask on there so because I've divided it, I've got to delete that one out. Oh, I divided it again. Didn't want to divide it again. Uh, let me just delete higher, delete lower. So I've got nothing. So I've got nice clean masking on there. So if you press the Alt key while holding the Control key, you can get yourself and you can see the quality of it. Okay, right. Now we need to create a piece that's going to intersect with this. So I'm simply going to go across to something like the... Um, what should I choose? A cylinder. So I would do this a bit like the ZBrush tutorial that they've got on this. And I'm going to go to the inner radius. I'm going to drag this out. And I'm just going to make sure this is on 8. And I don't really need any subdivisions on here. So I'm going to just drop those down. And I'm going to say, okay, that's good. Make me a mesh from that. So I'm going to go make poly mesh free to unify. Make poly mesh. Okay, so I'm now going to face this towards me and I'm going to go into the rotate. I'm going to make sure that's in the center and I'm going to hold the shift key so I get it straight like that. Or oh, actually, I need to do it manually. That's good. Okay, back into draw mode. Control key, drag across half of it, click once, use the move key, uh, reset this angle and drag that out this way. So I've got something like this. Unmask it, control drag. So it's gonna give me something like this. Okay, so what I wanna do next is divide this up, but I wanna put some creasing on there. At the moment, if I just go into dynamic subdivs and press that, you're gonna see it's gonna give us that kind of thing. And I want it to be nice and crisp on the edges. So I'm gonna go down to the Z remodel. That's BZ on your keyboard. Select that Z modeler brush. And I'm going to go over an edge. This is an edge with the Z modeler. That's an edge. That's a point. And that's a face. Okay, so I'm going over the edge. I'm going to right hand. I'm going to space bar click. Go insert. Edge. Um, insert. Yep. And I'm going to click on there. Oh, sorry. I need to come into crease. Woo. Edge loop complete. Click in there. And it'll add a little edge loop to the edge which will hold that shape. 
Okay, so let's go into this edge, click there, go into this edge, notice a little thing's been created and I need to just hold that shape at the moment if I divide this uh, you're gonna see it's gone kind of round I want this bit to be straight across here so to do that I need to add a reinforcing edge so pretty easy to do we're just gonna come into one of these edges and we're gonna go insert and we're gonna go multi edge loops and inside here I'm gonna click and I'm gonna drag that's gonna give me some groups in there so I'm gonna click and have about that many about three. I'm going to do the same this side. Three. And that should hold that shape then when I subdivide it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to subdivide this. And you can see I've got nice clean topology. Now I'm going to press the control W. That's to group this whole piece. Or you can go down to poly, poly group, group visible. Okay. So now we've got something like this. I'll divide it one more time to get it nice and crisp. And I'm going to go down to my geometry and I'm going to delete lower. Okay, so now I've got this, I'm going to call this in here, I'm going to call it insert, like that. And I'm going quite quick with this free video, but in my actual tutorials I go a lot slower. So let's go back in here, and let's append that one in. So I'm going to jump back into here, append this one in. So I've got something like that, I'm switching to that tool, I'm going to go to the move, the gizmo. I'm going to rotate this down and I'm going to get it sideways. I'm just going to angle it at an angle, something like that. And just put it so it's intersecting with the model. Let's bring it down a bit there and just get it so it's intersecting. Okay, good. Right, now that's intersecting with that piece. And remember, we've got this piece that's got no subdivision levels. So what I'm going to do first of all is, and remember, these are one poly group. That's one poly group. Let me just turn the line off in there. And this is a poly group as well. So we've got two poly groups. So I'm going to take this one now and I'm going to merge it down onto, actually, I'm going to take this one and bring it up one. And I'm going to merge it down onto this group. Click OK. And that's given us this. Now, in this mode, we now have two groups. Control Shift, hold Control Shift, click. You can see that's one group. Control Shift, drag. That's the other group. Control Shift, click. Bring them both back. Now, because we've got them in one subtool, we can now, let me just rename this, insert intersection mask. Now, we can now use the intersection mask. So if I go into Z plugins intersection and create an intersection mask, then what we're going to do is we're going to get an intersection on these two pieces. So it's going to take a little bit of time depending on the geometry and the quality of this intersection mask will be based on the subdivision levels that you pumped into the pieces. OK, so it's really important. The main piece, this piece here needs to have a lot of resolution to hold a good mask. Now you can see around the edge it's actually done something. So if I press the control shift on this piece here, you can now see it's given us that intersection. So if I want to now break that, break that away, into um, control shift click once what I can do is I can just do a group split so I can come down here to group and I'm because there's two groups it will split these out so I can go group split click OK and now we've got this piece which will also give us an intersection on the sphere so it intersects both okay a bit like a boolean but it's adding a mask and now we've got on this piece we've got an intersection in here now from this point, because it's masked, we can actually add a poly group on it. So I could come down now to my poly group and I could go group masked, click that, and you're gonna see it will mask out the other, but we've actually got two poly groups now. Yeah, now at the moment, it's just taken those, um, the quality of the mesh, the subdivisions of the mesh, and it's given you this which if I go onto line, you can see it's not actually following the topological flow of this piece. But this is where ZBrush comes in with the new tools in ZBrush 2019. So we in here have a Z remesher and we can remesh this down. So I'm gonna say, okay, let's, um, let's do a poly count of 5,000 in here. 50,000 polys, 5,000 polys, sorry. 
and we're going to make sure that detect edges on and we're going to keep the groups now what will happen by this is it will look at the groups and it will fix it will set topology up to go around the groups hopefully giving us a nice quality so i'm going to hit z remesh now and we're going to wait for it to go through it's fairly quick and it should give us a good result okay let's have a look at it so what it's done now is it's given us a good result it's also reduced the size reduced the um, account on here so it's given us a low res but it's kept this grouping so now if i was to divide this up to get it back to how it was nice high quality we now have this piece in here now what you can do if you've got it at that low quality because you've done it in there at um, 5000 polys then let me go down let me just click on here and you can see that's 4684 but while it's in low res mode you could then go into something like the z modeler you could then choose something like um remember i'm in z modeler then you could reduce the brush size down just so it doesn't get in the way uh, go over one of these edges and notice the arrow direction when I use this particular tool see that little orange arrow if I put it that side you'll see it will go around there so I'm going to put it on there I'm going to go edge loop edge loop I'm going to edge loop poly loop and poly group Q mesh and inside here I'm now going to push that in like that I'm also going to go over an edge and I'm going to set a crease in here so it basically hardens these edges up and watch what happens when I subdivide it. I'll have a nice clean break in these pieces. Let's put it back there. That's what we've got. Let's go into our geometry. Let's subdivide that geometry up. And now I've got a clean cut or an insert that this piece fits in perfectly with. So let's come out of here and you can see it actually can't even see it because it's so close to there. So that's how we can do that. 